Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Canelo Alvarez already training for his Golovkin rematch, this time with an altitude mask. Boom. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations and the Patreon family, we are working. Now it's about to go down Cinco de Mayo weekend, May 5th, much anticipated rematch. Canelo, I was born ready. Alvarez versus Gennady, yeah, no, guys. Golovkin, let's get it. Looking forward to this, rematches under this type of scrutiny and controversy. They definitely need immediate rematches. That's what they're giving us. A lot of people thought Canelo wouldn't take it. Some people thought he lost the first fight and like, oh, no way he will take a rematch. So you got to give him props. You guys seen the clip at the beginning. He's already training. He already looks like he's in solid shape, which is something I'd advise really all fighters to do. Try to monitor your weight throughout the year because you don't want to be the, the guy on the couch. You know what I mean? You're just waiting for a call. Especially at the level of a Canelo, when you're like this A-side, you should always be ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But you see Canelo is training with the altitude mask, which kind of simulates you being in a higher altitude. It looks like the Bane mask. And I think this is a really good idea. Now, I know about sports medicine and nutrition and, and a bit of things like that. To improve one's overall cardio, you're not necessarily going to be able to do it in a matter of months it usually takes time however your best shot is to at least try to make the changes to improve and work on it you know what i mean canelo didn't get knocked down in the first fight he did get winded he definitely was fatigued in some of those middle rounds but he did enough to to hold on where he didn't get knocked out didn't get knocked down and seen it the full 12 rounds so if you can improve upon that just a little bit then you should be golden you know what i mean and canelo his last fight he looked pretty muscular so maybe maybe lean down don't worry so much about like bulk because muscles require oxygen blood flow things like that so maybe that was part of it and he should just focus on it and from what i've seen canelo's cycling he's in the sauna on the little bike he's doing the altitude mask and Again, even though you can't change your whole DNA in terms of if you have stamina problems, you're not gonna be able to change it in one camp. However, I still wanna see the fighters noticing the problem that they had in a previous fight, going back to the drawing board and still trying to improve upon their game plan and their overall strategy. You know what I mean? Like if a person struggled, like let's say Javante Tank Davis, he struggled to make weight pretty much in his last two fights, then he lost his belt in his very last fight on the Mayweather McGregor card. So I wanna see him do the right things when he's training for his next fight, April 21st. So it looks like he's at least taking it serious and really trying to make weight, get the road work in, um, monitor what you're eating, stuff like that. I mean, that's all we can ask of these fighters is to try to have corrective behavior. So I like this from Canelo. I think it should be a good fight. It could be a fight that's very similar to the first fight. Golovkin puts uh, animalistic constant pressure on you he, he definitely hits hard enough where it's going to warrant your respect and you don't want to make any mistakes and then canelo overall more skill better boxer but possible stamina issues i think canelo just has to correct a few subtle things stay off the ropes because using that upper body movement constantly especially with the style that golovkin has that's going to burn up energy getting on his, his toes that much instead of like planting his feet and you know what I mean relying on your defense in certain spots controlling the center of the ring takes up energy so 
it'll be interesting i'm anxious to see this fight let me know how it goes down who will make the better adjustments but i like what i'm seeing from young canelo alvarez trying to at least find a solution to the stamina problems that we all seen and noticed in the first fight let me know if you'll be able to correct them drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video's ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing